Hello everybody and welcome back to the last, I guess, final NaNoWriMo vlog. I'm so excited for it to be over, but I'm also really sad because now the real work is gonna happen in December, editing and everything, so looking forward to that. I thought that this vlog would be a little bit about a reflection of the month, what I learned, what I didn't learn, I guess, <laughs> and what I want to do potentially for next year, for next year's NaNoWriMo. In an ideal world next year for NaNoWriMo, I will be writing at coffee shops again. <laughs> I'll be able to write outside and possibly for a longer period of time outside the house, which would be amazing. I'd love to do that again. Next year for NaNoWriMo, if I do do it again, I do not think that I would write a YA book. I think that I would keep it down to to middle grade. Like I've talked a bit about in my previous vlogs and everything, I do think that writing a YA for NaNoWriMo was a mistake because it is severely underwritten, it's very very short, it's only 50k, typically YA novels are about in the 85k range for me for the YA fantasy that I'd like to write in the future. So I do think that sticking to a middle grade novel next year would a help me chart the plot points more and keep on track for the plot and the pacing because I did struggle with that a lot today. No, <laughs> this month. <laughs> I mean, maybe I struggled with it today. I really struggled with it this month. <laughs> so just keeping on track, keeping on my outline, figuring out where everything needed to go and what needed to happen all at once in the appropriate times, but also at the appropriate word counts for the 50k, for ending up at 50k. So I do think that next year I will do a middle grade novel. We'll just see what that'll end up being. I do have a novel. It was, I think, 100k because it was my first novel. I finished it in college. It's about this girl and there were like sparrows. It was Victorian London. Her parents were botanists. I'm kind of doing a crummy job of explaining it. <laughs> But, you know, I'm thinking of reworking that into a middle grade novel. Into a middle grade novel, I'd like to flesh it out more. I'd like to, well, pare it back from the 100k that it was, the monster of a book that it was. Because, <laughs> you know, first, first novels, first novels, they're always wild like that. Or at least in my experience. I mean, I've only written one first novel, so... I just think that the shorter word count and the format for NaNoWriMo that I did this year would apply better to writing a middle grade novel. And luckily I do have lots of projects that I can choose from that I can pare down into a middle grade novel. So we'll see whether that happens or not next year, but that is one of my main goals for next year. I will say that this month I learned a lot about about working on a deadline. I really like pushing myself to hit those deadlines, to hit my marks. During this last week when I got For the Words, you know, having that goal of killing the monsters really, really worked because it gave me a concrete thing to work towards. Now, I don't know if this is just me with like my obsession with video games of that nature, but it really, really worked for me. So if you're looking for a way to, you know, try and really meet your goal while also having the added incentive of completing quests and killing monsters and stuff, that website is for you. It definitely helped me a lot. I feel like all my vlogs recently have turned into like a for the words, buy for the words. No, no not, not buy it, buy it. It's, it's free. It's free get for the words, but I swear I'm not sponsored or anything. Don't, don't listen to the people who say I'm, I am. Not that there's people saying that. Apparently this vlog is going to be all over the place. Also, here's me doing a mad dash to color in all the leaves on Natalia Lee's Preptober workbook. things that I would like to do next year as well would be to complete my Preptober workbook as I'm doing it. 
You saw earlier that I was coloring in all the 50k pictures all at once today, which, you know, was nice and I definitely needed the break as an activity. I definitely needed to color things, I definitely needed that break as an activity, so it was fun. But I would generally next year like to keep up with the Proctober workbook throughout the month, so that's another little, little teeny tiny goal. Also, my lights are flickering right now, so if, like, the room suddenly goes dark, then it's because of the power outage. <laughs> I do think that for NaNoWriMo next year, I do want to have more structure involved. I don't know why I'm doing like the salt hand <laughs> right here. So I do think I want more structure involved, especially with planning, especially with doing live streams, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be streaming on Twitch by this time next year so that I can do that and do it for NaNoWriMo especially. I've said before that these daily vlogs were really, really, really fun, and they were really, really fun, but they were also a lot. Now I don't know if that's just because of the time that we're in and because th I had a few like crises going on in the middle of the month that kind of made me go into combined vlogs or if it's just because of my laptop with the uploading time you know taking a video uploading a video takes about a day <laughs> really on YouTube combined with editing it combined with filming it I was usually getting out vlogs the day after which was fine for me but next year hopefully if I do decide to do daily vlogs actually I I don't want to do daily vlogs. I'd like to do weekly vlogs next year, I think. That would be a lot easier for me. It would reduce a lot of the stress that came with editing vlogs, even though they were fun. You know, I think daily vlogs were not the thing for me. I think that I would thrive most with weekly vlogs. So there you go. Well, so let me know in the comments down below how your NaNoWriMo went, what your goals are for next year's NaNoWriMo, anything that you learned from this year's NaNoWriMo along with me, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody for watching, and please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. We're heading into December. That's wild. I can't believe 2020 is almost over. Yikes.